All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and tonight it's going to be a knife review. Tonight we've got a knife from Topps Knife Company. Now, this is a company I've always been wanting to check out, you know, take a look at, try one of their knives. For some reason, I never did it, and the other day I was vacate or not vacationing, I was out traveling for work, so I was in my hotel perusing the internet, and I saw this little guy, really kind of fell in love with this uh, knife, kind of a cool little all-arounder, um, pretty much an EDC knife, you know, something you're going to carry every day, you can wear it as a neck knife, you can... I've actually put it in my pocket quite a bit, and it's pretty handy there in the pocket. Um, you know, they even talk about putting it on your steering column of your car as a last-ditch tool kind of having there. But it's really, it's a knife, but it's kind of an all-around tool. It's such a, a neat little piece. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is the uh, ALRT XL from Topps Knives. Now, as you guys, I actually have played with the knife a little bit. I wore it around for a couple of days, but I went ahead and put it back in its original packaging so you guys can see how it comes. So it comes on this lanyard here, this chain-style lanyard, and on the end here you have have a little tops uh, knives there's their phone number everything you want to know dot com this is like a uh, whistle it's almost like a train whistle man it's loud so this is the larger size they make this in three different sizes uh, I bought the XL and uh, it's really a handy handy knife to use now I'll go ahead and pull it out of this kydex style sheath you guys can see that it does have some indentations here inside of the um, sheath that kind of hold it in there retain it help it retain not super tight but not too loose so it, it seems like it works really good I've only worn it as a neck knife for one day uh, mostly carrying it in my pocket or in other different fashions but here you guys go this is 1095 steel so it's got a carbon content of like 0.95 percent so it's a good uh, strong blade tough blade not super super tough but it'll maintain a good edge once you get it on there this appears to be I'm not exactly sure of the grind but it it um I'm not really sure definitely nothing too fancy going on there with the grind the 1095 steel is coated in this black what they call traction paint material here so good size knife overall length on this is 5.37 inches to the tip to the back of the butt of the blade um, full tang of course you guys can see it's got these mic micarta scales on it nice jimping on the top of the handle also on the bottom of the handle so you can get a good grip on the knife um, jimping also along the top of the blade so when you want to press down and do some kind of fine work with the knife also has this hole here you can use for maybe a little bit more control it's kind of funny because actually I can I can put my pinky through there and uh, actually makes for a vicious little claw type knife, but very nice little handy thing. Here you've got the lanyard on the back. This actually came on it. I didn't put it on there. If I was to wear the knife uh, more as a neck knife, I would probably lose this, uh, all of this metal here, and I'd probably just put it on a leather lanyard. Any other neck knife I have, excuse me, that's the way I wear it. So good looking knife, guys. The um, the blade length they're they're calling this is at 2.75. I do believe they're including from here all the way out to the tip of the knife, obviously. You can see you've only got the sharpened edge um, probably an inch and a half maybe there. But good little handy knife to use. Definitely a tool. You can see the thickness on this thing. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think it's about 0.2 uh, inches thick on the uh, overall blade on this not including the micarta scales of course so it's going to be thick you could use this as a pry tool um, definitely going to be strong enough for doing that type of work just a really cool knife now because it's got that high carbon content you guys are going to want to keep it oiled up and they did include with this knife this uh hp what does that say the HP 100 knife oil with SMT. Not quite sure exactly what that means, but it's got to be good stuff. This is this is what they say: feed your knife. So give it give it some of that oil, some of that love, especially on the exposed part of the edge. There, you definitely want to keep that oiled up because it will rust, um, especially in a wet environment. So, uh, I didn't even open anything else down here. Um, you know, you get your warranty information, probably your authenticity. A little card here about Tops knives. Inside of here, they included a sticker, and they also included a catalog, you know, one of their newer catalogs. So, like I said, guys, I think this is the larger, what they call the five. They make a three and maybe even a one. Or they, they make them in three different sizes. This is the largest of the sizes, and it's a handy knife. It definitely has good feel, um, definitely feels like it's going to be a strong knife. Um, it, it's super thick, so even though this hole really takes a lot of the meat out here, I don't think it's going to really affect the strength of the knife. I wouldn't pry too hard with it, but I do think you can use this for a lot of different things. They actually call it a tool more than a knife, so really, really cool, guys. So obviously, no loom shot to go out with on a knife, but guys, really cool uh, knife from Tops. I'm going to leave a link to their website down below in the description Definitely go over there and check them out. They got a whole bunch of different things. And they're made, check this out. 
They're all made here in the good old USA, guys. So that's always a good thing. So check them out. Link down below in the description. All right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there. If you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.